Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful email template without very much effort. To go to your email templates, we'll start from our home page and under the marketing section, we'll click on email templates. Here in the email template manager, you'll be able to view your saved email templates by category. Here we see sales template, greetings, auto response, and all. You can click on a saved template to open it or click on the plus sign to create a new one. And that's what we'll do. Here you can select the design category which contains various templates. So we'll click on sales template. On the right hand side, you can view a library of the templates for that category. Library templates are industry standard pre-formatted templates which makes your template design easy and effortless. We have about a hundred library templates for you to use. If you mouse over a library template, you will see two buttons. Preview, which will give you a snapshot of your template, and Use This Design. We're going to select Use This Design, which opens the Email Template Designer. Here we can give our email template a name. Up at the top, you'll notice that there's the name section. We'll call this Softfront Newsletter. Above the name field, you'll see four buttons. Save, Start Over, Preview, and Close. Save will, will save your template permanently. Start Over will take you back to the library template selection page. Preview will give you a current look of your template and close will end the designer and take you back to the email template manager page. Below the name section is the subject. So let's give this a meaningful subject. We're going to call this first ever newsletter. Over to the right you can see the personalization field. We can add a little personalization to the subject line. To do that, we'll put our cursor where we'd like the personalization to go, and we'll go back to the right, and we'll click on Personalization. And we'll choose First Name. Now your email will go out with the person's first name, then subject. Down below, you will notice the design section. On the right, this is where your email template shows up. This allows you to edit the text in the template. To the left, you will see where we can edit colors and fonts for each block, as well as add additional blocks. Back on the design side, you will notice that each template has several different blocks, and each block has its own title. Article detail, follow us, footer, header image. And then on the right, there's a customization toolbar. If you click the first icon in the customization toolbar, this will allow you to drag and drop your block to wherever you'd like it. If you click the pencil, this allows you to edit things within that block. You can select the text and change the font if you'd like. You can change the size. You can make it bold, underline, strike through, etc. You can also change the color of the text and the color of the background. Another thing you can do with this editing tool is insert an image. For example, we'll put our cursor where we want the image to appear. And then we'll clip, click on the image icon. Now we can browse the server, and here you could include your own images, or you could upload a new image. You can choose your file, or you could browse our image gallery to use one of the ones that we have in our image gallery. There's several categories 
within our gallery for you to choose from. So we'll insert this one. Now on the left, you can make changes to the size, the width, the height, etc. And then we'll hit OK. And there it is. Also on the left is where you can change additional colors for entire blocks. For example, in the header heading, we're going to change it to green. Okay, now we'll change it back to white. Okay. Once you are done with your changes, click the Save button to make them permanent. You can now use your newly created template for your broadcast and touch campaigns, or you can use them to send individual contacts. If you have additional questions, feel free to click on the Help button at the top of the right-hand side of the page and send us a message.